I am very honored to spend a few minutes with you to discuss a matter which I believe is of great significance. A subject which can and does change millions of lives each year. I am talking about tracing one's roots, finding out about one's heritage. Some call it genealogy. To others, it is known as family history. The importance and power of family influences can and does make an enormous difference in the lives of our youth. It is for this reason I want to stress the importance of traditional scouting values and their association with family, history, and genealogy. Genealogy and the searching for records for those who have passed away often help us uncover traces of greatness. We carry much of the same DNA of our forebearers. If they have been able to overcome great obstacles and tribulation, then is it not within our capacity to also rise above and conquer our every foe? One of the goals we've had in introducing this new set of tools is to help us as leaders to use these teaching moments more effectively, to provide a forum to reinforce and pass along traditional values to the next generation. Much wisdom needs to be passed on. Without this wisdom, without adherence to traditional values, our youth will be tossed to and fro throughout their lives. We tend to learn the lessons that guide us from the people who are around us and the people we admire and the things that we're able to see. Sometimes we learn lessons from people a long time ago because they wrote them down. Having the, the, the history of your family uh, is really important. Did you sit down with us? Yeah. Nobody liked him, Bill. Everybody was mean to him. Nobody liked him. I know. Where's the bolo tie? Bill, he needed a friend. My, my tears were running. His tears were running. An 11-year-old boy sensed a boy that was being mistreated, a boy that was broken-hearted, and he gave his most prized possession. As a young kid, all I've ever wanted to do was fly in my entire life. And of course, when the movie Top Gun came out, I knew that that's the life that I wanted. It's the one thing that I've just always known that was in my blood that I've wanted to do. And I ended up going off and joining the Army to fly helicopters. And, and it's probably one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me in my life. kind of a poem and part of it is you know that people will forget your death and birth like your the date you you were uh, born and the date you died but they'll never forget your dash and that's true people will never forget what you did in your life they may forget the exact birth date that you had but they'll never forget the legacy that you left here my father was so totally honest that white lies did not exist you're either honest or you're dishonest. And to illustrate that point, I'll never forget on a Saturday morning when I was a young teenager, the phone rang and I said, Dad, if that's my friend Bill, tell him that I'm not home because I don't want to talk to him until Monday. And he answered the phone. He said, oh yeah, Jake's right here, Bill. And after the phone conversation, I said, Dad, why didn't you tell him I wasn't home? He said, because you were home, son, do you understand? Dad, to this day, is still an inspiration to me, and even at my advanced age, if I stop and think about what he would tell me in a particular situation, his advice to me, I never make a mistake. It's only when I think for myself that I foul up, but it is literally true with both my father and my mother. I know what they would tell me to do in each situation. So I'm still following their advice, and my grandchild children say, Grandpa, as old as you are, you're still doing what your mommy and daddy would tell you to do? And I said, oh yes, I still follow their advice after all these years. They are still, both of them, my heroes. And as I mentioned, still guiding my life.
on a climbing team, you know, you put your life in your friend's hands and they put their life in your hands, you know, and if you fall into a crevasse, uh, you know, everyone else on the team throws themselves down on their ice axe and stops that person from falling. You have a person up there fixing lines up difficult parts of the mountain and carrying weight on their back to help you get to the summit. I mean, I think that's the way a family is, you know. They're the support team that you have uh, to do what you want in your life. They build you up and you stand on their shoulders. And I thank my parents, my brothers and my sister for being that support team. Family history and genealogy has the power to change lives. So it is up to us leaders to look deep into the souls of those in our care, to use the great scouting program to lift and enlarge the character of young men. The